All right, back to school week and the power of social media to connect our communities. All right, so get this. It's really been more than four decades since I got my last hug from my very favorite teacher, my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Greep. So I want to thank you, the viewers. I took to social media, and wouldn't you know it, within 24 hours, viewer Russ Wimmer found Mrs. Greep. I wanted to share with you my reunion with an educator who is an example of setting a student up for success. Watch. Linda Greep, it's been forever. My kindergarten teacher. Hi. I was your kindergarten teacher. This is this is so exciting. I cannot believe it. Well, I remember you so well because you made me feel safe on the first day of school. I'll never forget being so afraid oh. and walking into your classroom and feeling like I was going to be okay. You know, in all of these years, it's been, gosh, uh, 46 years since I last saw you because I remember you were going yeah. to, I was your last class before you Yes, you were. Town. Yes, and, and I had to leave. You well, know, I've but, never forgotten you. In fact, I remember coming home on the last day of school and crying on the couch to my mother asking if I could move with you. <laughs> I, that is so precious. That is so precious. And I would have said yes if she would have allowed it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, in parting, what words of wisdom do you have for that kiddo out there who might be having their first week of school, might be afraid like I was afraid going into your classroom? What words of advice and encouragement do you have for this little one who might be watching right now? Yes, I would just say, this is going to be a very special day in your life and you will remember it and you will love it and your teacher will love you. So go off to school, wear a great big smile, maybe have a little song in your heart and the whole world is right before you. I get emotional because I love you. You make me cry too. <laughs> yeah, they're so special when they're little and they love teacher. <laughs> as you have attested to. <laughs> yeah, and I still love you. I know that that seems weird hearing from a 51 year old no. man, oh, but I'll yeah. tell you what, I felt loved, and because you loved me, I loved you back, and I was safe in your classroom. Oh, that's... Can't be so for every kid who's watching this morning. Yeah, that means the world to me, and I love you, darling, and we must stay in touch. <laughs> So we want to thank our viewers who helped me find my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Grief. And a lot of these kiddos you see here on the screen reached out to me in the last few days. We know that they are watching where they live. Big love to you. And once again, just reemphasizing, if you're a kiddo getting ready to go to school this morning, you have that sort of lump in your throat, your heart's beating fast. Think about what Mrs. Greep said. Keep a song in your heart. Can we have a thousand Mrs. <laughs> Greeps, please? I Seriously. cannot watch that without getting choked up. Yeah. Maybe it's a little bit because my son's starting school today and I'm not there. What's your baby's <laughs> name? What's your baby's Falky, name? Falcon. Falcon. Have a great first day back at school. But Reed, I mean, sh I Wasn't feel I like lucky? she set you up for she success. Did. I mean, and look at who you are today. I feel a piece of her is with you. It, well, that's what love does. It embeds in us and it informs everything we do. Isn't it so important to have teachers that act as second parents right. during times in our lives? Yep. I mean, whatever was going on with you in kindergarten, yep, yep, yep. to have someone that's just a rock she to was support a safe you. Space. Yeah. And yeah. to bring a smile to your face each day. I mean, look at her. She's adorable. She hasn't aged. No, and she's played Hello Dolly many times on the <laughs> stage. So, Hello Dolly. Hello, Mrs. Greep. We know you're watching right now on the stream.